All right, seems like the gremlins have attacked Taylor, but worry not, we've got lions to defend us today. Yay! Now, the boys, I don't think they know what they want to do, funny enough, because they've been circling around, but by the looks of it, they want to be in each other's company. Now, okay, I've been paying attention to the guys on the radio because apparently there are more trucks and we know there was another male that was walking around in this general area. Let's just maybe go and follow this other one. And um, he was, he carried on going north. Now, apparently there are more trucks for the rest of the Nkuhuma Pride. All right, where is this one going though? Is he eating something? Okay, then let, let me go just around the tree. I thought he was grooming himself. But... Alright. <laughs> I feel like this is a roller coaster. But yeah, so there are trucks for what seems to be the Nkuhuma Pride, just a bit further north from here. So I wonder if perhaps they weren't all on the property last night. You are eating something quite small, are you not? Ah, you fooled me. Hey, firm, there's just one Madonna in quarantine and the other one's busy walking north towards um, Buyatilla Axis. Alright. I feel... What are you guys eating? Or what are you eating? That seems to be some sort of ribcage. Hmm, perhaps something small like a wildebeest, although whatever it is, it's pretty much finished. I'm not too great with anatomy, but I'm gonna put it... My guess will be either a young wildebeest or an impala, just by size, and judging by the fact that there's no more around here. Hmm. Look at, he's so thorough, he's just busy trying to get the last bits of meat that are in there. Just the last, <laughs> the last little bit of meat that's still attached to the bone. That hasn't been able to, to be chewed off just yet. So that's why he's using his very powerful tongue to try and loosen the little bit that's left. Look at that, he's managing. Oh, I don't know if you, ooh. <laughs> that was amazing, you see. So the tongue is very rough and that's why they lick so constantly the food that they're about to eat because it pretty much dislodges itself from the bone and then they manage to to pretty much eat everything that's attached there which is great because nothing really can go to waste and there are a few bites in there that he can still have <laughs> I think though eating this part of the body is not that easy I think you're, you're running slim here boy any animation you say mm, yummy ribs for breakfast <laughs> exactly I think he is really enjoying the ribs for breakfast what are you listening to there is an impala rotting in the distance mm, seems like Taylor has managed to find the hyena ones more drinking so let's go over to her and spend some time with the hyena while breakfast is done <laughs> 